Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today, today is Monday, June 6, 2022. And we're doing comic book readings, excerpts from a handful of comic books uh, that I sort of highlighted over the last uh, few months. I've read a whole bunch of comics, I got the stacks here. And these ones are just popped out. Uh, I thought it was, uh, they're sort of random fun uh, things to have a read through. Um, and we did some readings on the last, or last week, where we read through, let's take a look, let's take a look. We read through a little bit of uh, Zero Tolerance. Uh, super fun, great car chase. We read a little bit of a snapshot, which is sort of a, uh, related to politics and stuff uh, who rules the world right we read the uh, comic strip uh sort of cartoonish style uh of this this was hilarious okay i beam sam hurt very fun very fun we read a little bit of the question uh issue number 11 and uh, that was fun give a nice little feel for uh what the question is like the 1980 um 1986 87 series when it started and i sort of uh mentioned one story in girl talk number two i still have to take the pictures i try to look online to see if i could find this issue and uh, post the pictures of the story that i was uh, mentioning on our gilded page but i couldn't find it online so i have to actually bring out my camera and Take pictures cheryl and elder god how are you guys doing happy d-day everybody 77 years ago d d d oh happy d-day was it d-day 77 years ago landing on normandy elder god and cheryl uh i gotta take pictures of this and put it up uh, i couldn't find it online i went to one of the sources that i have and i looked at a couple other places as well where um you know you can sample comic books uh, but this was not available uh, i couldn't find it so i'll have to bring out the camera and take pictures okay so that's what we took a look at uh, last week so d-day was 77 years ago today june 6. wow 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 i didn't know xavier how are you doing oh god he says jamie lasagna hey chicho how are you doing brother doing good man reading comic books and i try to <laughs> like i have a few different comic books on the go right now uh, in different locations of the house near the bed in the bathroom uh in in another reading area that i have so i'm like we could do comic book readings for all of summer and it would suit me just fine but there are other things we need to do and we got enough comic books to actually do readings just comic book live streams all summer uh and more uh but we have to mix it up we have to mix it up but loving going through the comics loving going through the comics sort of gets me motivated to reading more comic books knowing that we're going to do comic book streams right cheryl i'll I will definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'll I'll do it, uh, sure. I just gotta remember. If you haven't seen the next couple of days, send me a message and I'll, I'll get on it ASAP. Ch -ch -ch. Xavier, what's bracken? Felix, Chicho, hey Chicho, what's up? Comic books, comic books. This is mod privilege, my friend. Haha. <laughs> I can't count seventy eight years ago. 70 77 so we're into the 70 78th year now of uh, d-day wow 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 and gang while we wait for uh, people to roll in because we definitely want to give everyone the opportunity to uh have the read through the comics uh if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you can follow the work there which is basically layered on mathematics and comic books has a lot of a lot of mathematics in it and uh, I think we have approached it from the investment aspect of it, but we still have to finish off that series. We have to take a look at the return on investment on some of the other things that we've done, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Um, 
but we will get to it in due time uh, enjoy the process enjoy the process right uh, Xavier wait no you'll remember this one it's uh, cosmic visions cosmic visions cosmic visions haha <laughs> yeah God push. cosmic visions oh cosmic visions Xavier your cosmic visions welcome back <laughs> what does this say Xavier ASMR what is that nitty something nitty twitch notification set up awesome awesome cosmic visions now you're Xavier I'm 21 now oh, hey congrats 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 welcome to the adult world in the United States anyway most of the states gang for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you for your support I hope you enjoy the content and um, as well as the support we're getting on twitch right so it's mainly or huge part of the reason we're able to do what it is that we are doing is because of the support we're getting on patreon and twitch we do have other platforms where you can follow the work and support the work uh subscribe star substack being two of them and of course we got our video sharing platforms and whatnot social networks and we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on some of the social networks that we are on minds vk gap harder getter and bitcloud and we'll see what other platforms we go on uh, okay nine nine minutes jeez <laughs> xavier felix chicho uh, do you have any big plans for summer i'm going to bristle with about 25 friends for a three night trip aka mushrooms and herb bender nice we're seeing jungle live nice on the first night which will be epic um summer we'll see what brings uh hopefully because things are open now here to a certain degree and mandates passports are not required to go to certain events uh, there are uh certain events that we do plan on going to uh, we'll see we'll see if everything comes to light or not uh, and we will I will personally definitely be uh, Felix um, uh, participating in the same type of activity and you <laughs> you and your friends are going to be participating in at the jungle show <laughs> right Cheryl I like the new name Xavier got got to sleep uh, which if I'm correct you must have heard a ton growing up I know my son hears a similar uh, version frequently Xavier got to go to sleep is that a band Cheryl I don't know I don't know this thing Xavier yeah it's good though you can never not stop learning indeed indeed you can never not stop learning yeah once you stop learning you're dead ASMR tingles that's what Xavier posted nice I learned so much every day indeed 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 uh, bah, 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 bah. for last streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcast and platform including Spotify iTunes and Google Play uh, we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to Pichu, to rumble and to odyssey the video sharing platforms that we are active on but if you want to follow all of our content you want to be on Pichu, rumble and odyssey we do not upload everything to sensor to uh Elgar, need to focus on rumble i think chicho need a good replacement for sensor to indeed in the rumble and bit i really like them i like odyssey as well uh, I do watch certain creators on Odyssey, but Rumble and BitChute I think have the huge potential. BitChute is solid. Uh, it's got a nice support, uh, and it will always. I think BitChute will be there for a long, long time to come, and I think Rumble has the potential to grow, continue to grow exponentially. Uh, we'll see. I think in the next few months to a few years couple of years we're gonna see some major shakeups in the tech industry huge we're seeing it right now as well uh, zero sensor tube is dead it's dead game dead like you should just see the just bot comments I keep on deleting on sensor tube and it's it 
it's sad to see really it's sad to see and gang we do have a gilded page if you want to join us for discussions share information participate in dialogue open dialogue uncensored share your opinion share your opinions uh, ask questions uh, talk to real people you're definitely welcome to join us in our gilded server uh, Felix you show it's a good way to spend time haha <laughs> although we don't plan on being under the influence at the show we want to be able to properly appreciate the tunes but when you go back to the 16 bed <laughs> bedroom 16 bedroom house we're renting we're going to be in a different universe indeed cool Cheryl Chicho in our house is a universe usually very late and more like kiddo go to sleep perhaps followed by now haha <laughs> Xavier uh, <laughs> look at all the mushroom emotes <laughs> hilarious yeah they delete everything I don't even comment anymore yeah it's a clown show sensor 2 is a clown show it, it really it's like an old friend uh, that you've uh, enjoyed visiting and talking to becoming totally mentally deranged uh, the management on sensor tube wow 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 I, I cannot believe uh, a management on a public company that is first uh, business is to return shareholder value is absolutely annihilating the platform wow Lark Bark how are you doing hey man how you doing uh, you have the best comic book collection out of any comic book collection. I don't know about that Lark Park. I've seen some comic book collections which make me drool. Drool, I tell you. Uh, so my collection is a lot of things that I love, that uh, I appreciate, that I've gone off on, that I love the covers, I've got multiple copies. I love the stories, I've got multiple copies. Uh, there's a lot of love in my collection. I can I can honestly tell you that there, I've seen some amazing collections out there I know people that have some amazing collections right especially in my town from what I understand in Victoria British Columbia there are four action comic number ones just in this city there's huge comic book collectors in this city right so they probably put my comic book collection to shame right but I can honestly tell you there is a lot of love in my collection which I've I've seen in a handful of other really comic book aficionados in my life that they collect uh, they invest in comic books because they love the medium they love the art they read their comic books it's not about getting all 9.8 graded comics and stuff like this it's not about the market it's about the product right and that's what my collection is about okay uh, and those collections man those people they know their comic books inside out not necessarily all the history and stuff but they know a good storytelling right Jamie lasagna chicho sorry this is off topic but a close friend of mine and me are planning to have have our first psychedelic experience later this week and I guess it'd be good to ask you for any advice tips and might have for us uh, eat light uh, you can definitely take it to our discord page uh, Jamie because this is a comic book thing um, I don't want to go too far into that realm but uh, I would recommend uh, first of all dosage matters uh, mind uh, your your intentions your mind intentions not as much as uh, dosage as well as food okay don't go pick out on a buffet and, and go on a trip you're not gonna have a good time right uh, the lighter uh, the tummy uh, the more powerful the experience oh god my comments were deleted five times in a row today on a certain channel I follow very annoying very annoying void how are you doing let's go caught a full stream awesome void <laughs> welcome back welcome back sensitive is a uh, relative who has betrayed the family yeah Allegot, uh, th that's a good description of it I'm gonna take these guys down gang. Doosh, doosh, doosh. 
Let's go fishing, Sasu Toha. Xavier, like now you mention uh, it. At one time, I left a nice comment that was real and genuine, not even hate or anything. Maybe one swear uh, word and a shout, shout out, but it had almost 1,000 likes. Then when I look, look at it, it was deleted, bro. Oh, not going to lie. Made me say, say, laugh out loud. First time I got that many likes and it was gone. Yeah like right now I'm deleting as soon as I load up a video on sensor tube within a few hours I've got multiple bots spam bots spamming uh, sexual content and stuff and sensor tube censorship doesn't zap that right like their bot prevention machine or whatever they all get approved they all got put they all get posted on the on the on the videos right so it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> kitty cats meow meow me. that was via <laughs> Zephyr have you ever uh, ever seen Freddy got fingered oh Freddy got fingers uh, I know that name well he sells comics or like drawings for a TV show and you sounded like him for a sec there Freddy got fingered I know I know that name but I don't know where from uh, it, it doesn't ring a bell what you wrote uh, he sells comics or like drawings for a TV show. Oh wow, Elder God! I had a seven thousand comment removed. It was very un unsettling. They suddenly the video was gone after two years. Yeah, like just imagine, censor tube removed the video. This is sort of politics, but censor tube removed the video of Christina Lu of whatever a Newland in the. Uh, in 2014 the UN ambassador to the United States where she was caught the audio leak saying to F the EU and they'll they'll put whoever they want to rule over Ukraine that video just got deleted two two weeks ago three weeks ago that's like part of history one of the most important parts of contemporary history does censor to deletes it removing history right their library of Alexandria is being deleted very lucky for us that we've got picture rumble and odyssey going on right very lucky for us let them burn their own house down there's backups there's backups thanks for the reply chicho now let's let's eat these comments up let's eat them up jamie gang let's do this okay now it's a sampling of comics right uh there's funny there's law there's great artwork storytelling nice nice storytelling uh, concrete cool crazy uh, very the, the only mainstream thing here would be we've got a dark horse comic okay dark horse uh, dark horse presents okay that's this concrete story I highlighted who's this guy this is independent we got an idw this was a great detective uh story um eclipse comics from 1980s 1990s okay uh fantastic eclipse one of the great independent publishing uh companies from that period okay uh so mainly a lot of independence here uh mostly independence i was i looked at the stuff this morning i was like oh man i should put some some of the big two in here um, but I didn't uh, I didn't have and I think you know this will take us oops this will take us the full uh, a couple hours to go through if we go short we have a lot of comic books here stacked on that we can look through as well <laughs> okay Xavier have a great day uh, man I got to finish my beer and enjoy before work and it's awesome Xavier thanks for popping in I hope you enjoy your beer and have a good day at work brother okay have a great day at work so gang let's get into the readings nice and chill nice and relaxed okay I'm gonna take the chat down the chat is popping up I think Come on, let's do this let's do our little message first and gang as always 
do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censor 2 elder god if you stream on rumble you can do longer streams yeah yeah indeed well i wanted to uh it, we will be streaming on rumble i think i'm gonna start streaming on rumble this summer okay with the new computer uh slow mo we go slow mo we go okay slow mo we go gang i'm taking the chat down i'm taking the notifications down I'm gonna take this video down and we're just gonna do some readings okay I hope you enjoy uh, I'll keep an eye on the chat just to make sure uh, I'm uh, on the ball I'm not missing anything from the comic that should I should have mentioned okay and for a first reading I thought uh, we do a little humor uh, reading from an independent publishing company called Rocket Comics, The Moth, number one. It's a uh, Dark Horse Comics, actually. So Rocket Comics, I guess in collaboration with Dark Horse Comics, The Moth. Okay. Steve Rude's The Moth. And this is The Moth dude here. Welcome to the circus. And I don't i think this is almost this is probably the only issue i've read of the moth and all of these comics that we're doing a reading from i picked up all of these comics plus a few hundred more uh, from a local comic shop that was selling them for 25 cents each so the comic books we did last week and the comic books we're doing the readings we're doing this week and other comic books we've done actually um they're basically readings that we did uh, from comic books that we bought like um, what do you call it about uh, we bought them for like 25 cents a pop I'm just moving this little light thing out of there so we got a clear showing <laughs> right we should probably turn on the lights on it too let's check it out let's see if we can get the light going on here can we can we can we it gives us a little bit more light here not much not much gang let's do our first reading okay and this is a sort of a vigilante dude and he's running a circus right this is the guy he's got like a punisher dude skull thing going on and this issue came out when did it come out in the mid 2000s i believe yeah in 2004 the moth april 2004 published by dark dark horse comics so i'm not sure what the rocket comics uh logo here is um it's probably a collaboration with another independent publishing company okay Steve Ruse the Moth, Sweet Land of Liberty. Written by writer inker by Gary Martin, artist Steve Rude, colorist Glenn Whitmore, letterer Patrick Osley. Okay. And the story begins in this with you know a bank robbery and you know a superhero lady superhero dressed up in an american outfit you know saving the day beating up the the robbers okay and you know she ties she ties them up and whatnot and people come come to her oh can, you know great job i love you and stuff like this and she sells she does product placement right she's like videos right this cereal was a sort of brand a lot of athletes for a time they were doing a lot of cereal promotions back in the day 
and then it kicks into the circus with this is the moth right here okay so let's read about five pages from this and we're going to start reading it um let's read it actually from here because that sort of ties into this um, and i didn't know any of these characters really okay so this lady superhero just saved the day okay so before i put on my costume to go to work i start each day with a heaping bowl of frosted videos she says oh look at that everybody's wow videos selling the cereal what does that say on the box can we even read that is it gonna focus no it's just gibberish on the description <laughs> right and the videos happy faces I've heard people say one of the greatest uh, artistic creations of the 20th century has been the happy face right like really the origin of the happy face I wonder where when it came to be because it's taken over our societies right that's right folks the vitamins and minerals packed in each bowl along with a complete breakfast gives me the energy I need to keep America safe so before I dole out my patented two-fisted justice I eat a bowl big bowl of frosted videos right and if you hear these advertisements the kicker is this watch this okay that's right folks the vitamins and minerals packed in each bowl along with a complete breakfast so this is the videos is not a complete breakfast right this cereal along with a complete breakfast give me the energy to keep uh, energy i need to keep america safe right so this is just you know something that's got a lot of chemicals putting in your body right and uh product placement continues and remember with 10 box tops you get a free america america liberty comic book yippee and she does like loop the loops uh going across the stage right so i guess her her name was liberty yeah liberty america or something like this and then we got and this is a circus they're in a circus right now and he's managing it okay and this is the strong man in the circus every circus needs a strong man that america liberty will endorse anything does tad really like that sugar-coated junk and tad is this guy here i think okay are you kidding do you see the jethro bodine size cereal bowl he's eating from there's the videos down there this is my little marker for it. this is the dude happy right. how tad packs so much food in that little body is a marvel of modern science i don't know which costs more feeding tad or clara clara bell speaking of, speaking of clara bell do you realize that elephant produces over 400 pounds of waste every day what are we supposed to do with all that poop the moth is asking and this guy here is on the cover He's like right there. Check him out. He's the little man. You got the strong man and the little guy. There's a little guy. There's a strong guy. You know, I'm starting to really appreciate what Victor actually did around here. I took it for granted when he was with us. But there's more to running the Vincent family circus 
than just putting on a top hat. Flip, 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 flip. Clack, 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 clack. And old Vic could sure crunch the numbers. You should see these spreadsheets, right? The strong man says. Flip, 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 flip. Clack, 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 clack. Going through bills and charts and data. You realize we're gonna have trouble meeting this month's payroll because our two main sponsors pulled their support. The strong man says. I know, no confidence in the new management, but I have a temporary solution. My girl Jackie gave me a juicy tip on a bail bail jumper. So tonight the moth goes on the prowl. Well stay away from those uh, bright porch lights har har the guy says right har har oh my head is spinning with all these numbers let's go hit the weights he says pardon me jack am i intruding what's up hey man the moth asks And the tall guy is outside the, the carriage, right? I have someone here who wants to audition. Great. I was hoping someone would answer my ad for a new lion tamer. Not a lion tamer, boss. It's an Amer animal act, the tall guy says. It's an 11 year old girl and her cutie monkey. Can't someone else do this? I'm kind of busy, the Mothman says. You know, Victor interviewed every applicant personally, the tall guy says. With everything else he did around here. And there's a, a little girl with the monkey. Thank you. What's the sign say? the fight bros oh he took his responsibility very seriously the tall man says he thought when someone auditioned for the van sant family circus they were expressing their hopes and dreams and that's something you don't take lightly after all aren't hopes and dreams what the circus is all about Hey, what's that doggy doing to the pole? What's going on here? <laughs> doggy in action. <laughs> it's not focusing. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hi there. My name's Jack Mahoney. I understand you want a job. Oh, we do, Mr. Mahoney. More than anything, she says. My name is Caitlin, and this is Mo. We're running away from home so we can join your circus. Eep, eep, the monkey says. Hey, man, she's running away from home. What do I tell her? Just go with it, Jack. Let her do her act, the tall man says. Tell me, Caitlin, why do you why do your parents think of this career move? They don't know I'm here. My parents don't like Mo very much. Mo has a bad habit, she says. Well, he can be a bit messy, but if I get a job 
at your circus, I'll be able to keep him. Otherwise, I'll have to give him back to Uncle Chris, she says. So we've been working on something really some there she is. We've been working on some really cool tricks, she says. Wanna do a trick, Mo? Eep eep, the monkey says. Okay, Mo, show him trick. Oh Mo. Not that one. Eep eep, the monkey says. Puts his hand in his pants and Mo Splat. That's the monkey's bad habit. Picks up poop from his bum and throws it at people. <laughs> That's why the parents don't like want to get rid of the <laughs> want to get rid of the monkey. Look at the little guy there holding the tall man's eye, going, "Oh my god!" Everyone's like in shock. What the right? And then everyone just cracks up laughing. <laughs> Poop on the face. The clown's laughing his ass off. Tao, would someone please get me a towel? The mouth moth man says. And the girl in the back is running but running towards him with a towel. <laughs> the strong man's like, oh shit. That can't be good. Alright. I thought that was funny. Fun little fun little read. Nice intro to a first issue comic. Right? And then it gets into the Mothman tracking this guy down and and this is what he looks like in his costume. Alright. And this this whole thing was really really nicely told as well. Good characters actually. Fun characters. Okay. And uh, sort of violentish to a certain degree. And then the American Liberty or Liberty Freedom this uh, this girl pops in again. Okay. Liberty. Liberty and Justice for All. That's her name. Liberty. So not bad, fun read. And th this is the cool thing, check this out. There's ad for uh, Bureau for Paranormal Research and uh, Defense from uh, Mike Mignola, right? Some of the advertisements in this are super cool, actually. Right. Looking back at some of this stuff. Fun little read, fun little read. Hey, where's my little tag here? This is this I found super cool. A little price tag back, back order issue for this. This one is Scout Comics, and uh, you can get Scout Comics on the cheap, 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 super cheap. Okay, this guy is here. Okay, so Scouts Comics, um, oh, sorry, Scouts Comics, Eclipse Comics, most Eclipse Comics from the 1980s. Okay. You can pick up really cheap, okay, fairly cheap. Uh, Scout was uh, one of the titles they put out, and they put a fair bit of issues, right? It's sort of post-apocalyptic or futuristic, dystopian to a certain degree. Um, I don't know if it's a class of the United States. I've read a few issues of this. It's sort of a, uh, yeah, it, it is class and rebuilding of the United States and whatnot. Right, and sort of a struggle uh, between Mexico, United States, and who's going to control what and whatnot. Right, different factions fighting each other. Uh, this comic was put out in 1997, right? And it's beautiful artwork, okay? Beautiful artwork. And here's uh, some of the comics you could have bought from Eclipse Comics, right? Scout number 21, Tales of Terror number 13, Fusion, Camu, Airboy, California Girl, The Liberty Project, Area 88. Mao the Psychic Girl, Hotspur, 
Lost Planet, Real War Stories. We did the reading for Real War Stories. Where is it? Uh, Real War Stories number two, where we read an ad adaptation of uh, Smetley Butler's uh, War is a Racket, right? Uh, Monsters, Weird, uh, Prowler, Valkyrie, The Masked Man, Detective, Crossfire, Zot. Zot is a fantastic read. I read the whole series. Really nice read. Okay fantastic dave stevens posters number eight. Oh my oh my presenting the maryland cover from crossfire number 12 i gotta look that one up johnny hazard the sisterhood of steel this is uh, good as well we did a little bit of reading of this sisterhood of steel and dave stevens covers are sought after covers okay sought after covers um but beautiful artwork okay this is timothy truman scout comics timothy truman uh creator storyteller tim harkins letter sam uh parsons paintings or painting right but let me flip through uh, just a couple of pages of this so you see the layout okay beautifully done and this is uh at a time where a nuclear explosion explosion has happened in the United States and beautiful panel work right shows cockroaches on a skull uh, there's a cockroach there right so zooms in really close right pulls out a little bit there's a cockroach right there right cockroaches maybe right and then zooms out further and further and further right nice work of panel uh, panel work right and then gives you a, a sort of a story of what's going on first with imagery and then words and then focuses on the cockroach telling the story again with the bubbles and then you get into the whole story of what's going on uh, the characters talking to each other right uh, this i thought was a beautiful panel these two pages were really nice let's read through these two pages and then we're going to read one page in the back it's sort of a message which is something that eclipse comics did a lot right so basically sort of a civil war in the united states right and we're just going to look at these two pages because then the character gets in uh, contact with the rest of the characters right I have brought the gun back home it knows this place my grandfather hunted deer with it and used it to protect his own camp it is a good weapon there is a spirit in the wood and iron of it grandfather said that he'd taken it off a yaki wolf witch that he'd run into in old Mexico but then grandpa was a uh, drifter and a yarn spinner no one knew whether to believe him or not everyone thought it wonderful story nonetheless story sort of continues this dialogue I feel his spirit in the rocks I can smell his campfire and the blood of freshly killed game I can feel the places on the rocks where he walked he must have loved his life here very much to have to have left so much of himself behind will i leave my spirit here too he thinks right contemplates and just a beautiful 
I love this panel or the splash page, right? I think these two pages are beautiful. Very beautiful, very, very calm, quiet before the storm, really, right? Nicely done, nicely done. Really like it. Right. And the story continues. It's sort of other other characters get into uh, get into the game. Okay, this was interesting. This was fun. <laughs> but we're not gonna read this one. <laughs> I cross my heart. Click. This sort of reminds me of Cowboy Bebop's uh, the show the uh, for the cowboys uh, for the bounty hunters right it's atomic explosion a sort of a dystopian uh, world right but this is what i want to read just a one page about the u.s constitution okay as a public service announcement so let's have a read through this and this is uh, again from eclipse comics okay scout number 21 published in 1987 i believe yeah scout comics july 1987 okay and it's a public service announcement and eclipse comics did a fair bit of this sharing history sharing law sharing uh, sort of what it means to be free american free human being in the united states 18 1787 constitutional bicentennial 1987 so 300 years 200 years right bicentennial so 200 years from 1787 so there's a couple of kids in school right remove those armbands or you'll be suspended the teacher or principal says we're wearing them to protest the war the girl says they're wearing black armbands right schools are for learning not demonstrating the principal i guess kicks them out don't come back until you've taken them off right, he says the students sue the school and win in the u.s supreme court okay in our system state operated schools may not be enclaves of totalitarianism school officials do not possess absolute authority over their student students students are persons and little asterisk there and it's referring to tinker versus Des Moines independent school district 1969 and this is something that Eclipse comics did this is historical documents that they're portraying in comic book format right but armed bands of school could cause disturbances the principal says or the school official says right and the supreme court our constitution says we must take that risk and our history says that it is this sort of freedom that is the basis of our national strength students rights are protected by the constitution we have the right to disagree the banner says check that out we have the right to disagree right but this protection is only effective when students know their rights and insist on them right so basically stating that authority can dismiss you can punish you can persecute you and if 
you know your rights then you can defend yourself which is something that i think everyone needs to needs to really fully grasp right published as a public service by eclipse in cooperation with uh edo 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 comics educational comics i believe adapted from the first freedom by nat hentoff the and this is the american civil liberties union offers free legal assistance to protect constitutional rights right this is something i think that's sort of missing in present day united states and present day many countries i thought that was a nice little uh, just one pager to take a look at right man of war and these are some of the comics from eclipse comics right and here is the back issues from eclipse comics i found it interesting i went through this actually taking a look at the stuff and i find it interesting that some of the stuff was sold out right like crossfire number six sold out uh, destroy your duck one two three four are available but five and five six and seven were sold out I don't know I haven't looked at how much some of these things that were sold out or why they were sold out Aztec ace number two and five totally sold out number 15 sold out from Eclipse comics right which is cool which is cool and there's some stuff here that is uh, here's the Dave Stevens uh, color posters seduction rainbow uh, Mr. Monster, World of Wood, Wood Two, haha, <laughs> Crossfire and Rainbow, World of Wood One, Character Buttons, Zot, Miracle Man, Scout, Crossfire, Mask Man, uh, Alien Encounters, pretty cool, nice independent comic to pick up if you're interested in independent comics from the 1980s and 90s 70s 80s and 90s uh eclipse came about in 1980s i believe uh but great independent comics the next comics is just very nice artwork and nice storytelling from again an independent publishing company and i don't believe they put out too many of these things this is uh from penticton uh british columbia these guys and i believe uh from last week crack mentioned that there's only two issues of this available uh icon devil right they didn't last very long uh, but the artwork was very impressive i was really impressed with the artwork and the and the world building in this uh and the characters like it was great storytelling uh sad to see that it was only uh, two issues of this were printed i think only two issues anyway here's the back cover what does that say next norbert in action quietest hunt in europe mouse kicks butt another intro and a poster of dominique sex myth you won't soon forget icon devil and this is a if you look at this here i'll show you this this is not like a poster right i'm gonna do this so we can sort of see it right. so that's the world the universe that's, that's been created right. sort of a sci-fi world with aliens on earth lots of uh, fast cars tech ladies right and this is icon devil number one 
from 1987, published by Spider Optics Comics. 1715 Ridgedale Avenue, Penticton, BC. Right? And this is my part of the world. Right? This is from my part of the world. Uh, I've been to Penticton many times. Story and Art by Neil. Henson, 1986. Okay. And I'll show you some of the artwork. It's like when I flip into the first page, I was like, wow, that's pretty sweet. Like, look at this. Right? Beautiful artwork. Intro. Right? Those are the little aliens. Ladies of the night. Right? And this is one of the gangsters in the background walking by, walking, walking in. And there's a story that picks up with, uh, continues uh, from this moment where this guy has a hit on him, the little guy. Okay. But beautiful artwork, really. Printed in Canada. Actually, many comics were printed in Canada. Quebecor Printing in Montreal was printing many of the comics from the big two as well, right? The comic books like I printed were printed in Canada as well, Quebecor, and they had a direct connection with Diamond Distributors and a lot of the other distributors. Okay. And this is the hitman that comes and deals with this little guy, right? Well, we're gonna flip 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 go to the story and this is the same gangster that we're about to read okay and i just mentioned that this was a great read and just good storytelling i'm just gonna read a few pages on this i'm not sure how far we'll go um, actually we'll probably go read about five pages of this it's a fun read it's a fun read So again, nice little panel, a lot going on. Lamborghini, flying Lamborghini, Caltac OX3000, right? Look at the world they're going into, right? Intro, Mal's, eat it Mal's. just to give you a feel and then here's the dialogue that's going on with the little guy the little gangsta and his squeeze you'll love this place darling know the owner since we was kids he'll set us up in a nice quiet corner so as we can eat and all that uh, all that all that in peace that's wonderful Mitch I'll trust your judgment, but if the food isn't absolutely superb, I'll be forced to punish you later. You mean it? How about McDonald's instead? Creep, she says. Right. So a little kink going on there. Right. That's the gangster there. That's the squeeze right there. Flying in to Mel's with their flying Lamborghini very scarfacey scarfacey feel to it right. there's a 50 bar park the car and keep the paint in one piece excuse me darling oh he smacks into the lady rip Good evening, sir and madam. Have you res have you reservation? The little robot says. One side you tend to runt. Get mad mel on the the nuts and bolts vid of yours. Tell him mouse is here. Squeak little robot sounds. I heard that sunny, he says. 
top of the world, top of the world, right? Top of the world. So here's sort of a feel of what's taking place. And then we'll read the dialogue. Sorry about all all that, darling, but that bucket of uh, screws had it coming, and I didn't mean to get oil on your dress, he says, little mouse. That's okay, Mitch, honey. It only cost $7,000. You shouldn't have much trouble replacing it. Guck. And there's a whole bunch of buddies here, partying it up, living it up, laughing it up right enjoying life <laughs> or how's your drink peach about time for a touch-up mm-hmm she says these guys are living it up and they're a little drunk in the background right oh one of them falls over oh this guy's spilling the wine and the ladies uh, dress right she says the conversation went time for a time for a touch-up mm -hmm, she said because I desire to become as inebriated as possible so you can take advantage of me the moment we arrive at your condo she says boom splat he chokes in his own drink she's smiling right? she's like he, 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 he. he's like oh nice the drunken dude that fell down he's on the ground the guy who spilt the wine on the dress lady's dress is apologizing he's like explaining i'm sorry he's sweating right there right so there's three different things going on at the same time get up huh? he waiter where come on focus let's see where are you bo get over here with a drink for the lady he says he wants to get her drunk right so three separate things were happening and then all of a sudden the guy who fell down is getting up on the table there and the background the lady punches the dude for spilling the drink on her Boom. this guy gets up he burp uh, Mitch she says meanwhile which is trying <laughs> Mitch is trying to get the waiter to bring more drinks forget it they drink run, run a hose here from the bar waiter he says hurry it up he wants to get her drunk fun storytelling now the big dude meets the little dude right geez what do you want stink weed this guy says the little gangster Mitch right scratch scratch the guy's scratching his crotch right jeez what do you want stink weed he asks the big guys hick excuse me shrimp but me and my pals was wondering well you look a lot like that mouse guy we seen on the vids martial arts channel so mitch asks well heck are ya yes now get going this is a this is private no autographs today mitch says i actually don't think the mitch is the gangster from the beginning <laughs> I forget right now right Mitch you shouldn't be so rude 
his date says. Sorry, Fluff, but the guy was tanked and breathing all over. Ah, uh, here's here's your drink. Thanks, BWA Ba. Keep them coming fast as we empty them. He orders. I'm famished. Drinking makes me hungry. She says, "Me too." For you, she says. Ha ha. Cough. Er. Can you hold on a moment, Plum? I got to urinate. Mitch, she says. He's humming along. He's enjoying life. Doop. There's a little alien with alien bug, I guess, with like multiple legs, right? Making his way to the year to the bathroom, and comes across the big guy. Well, well, the big guy says, and that's how big Mitch is compared to the big guy. Right? Or how small Mitch is compared to the big guy, right? And there's the big guy's buddies, all giants, right? That's the number 10. He must be the superstar. When it comes to sports, number 10 and number 7 are usually top performers. Right? And number 9, for soccer anyway. Well, well, the big guy says... It's the Muppet again. Isn't this a coincidence? A small coincidence, one of the big guys says. Look, stinkweed, Mitch says. Oh, ain't that a flowery speech and a half? Not too short winded tonight, ha ha ha. They're cracking short jokes, right? The other guy's got a stogie in his mouth or something. So the big guys are talking to each other. Maybe I should buy your day to drink. You likely only have small change anyways. Haha. <laughs> Must be nice to have him as an employee. Just the right, right height to kiss ass. He <laughs> he. I think he's a, he's mad at something looks hungry let's order him some uh order order him some short ribs uh -huh. yeah a bit short on cash uh -huh. somebody check his id how's the weather down there yuck yuck the guy says maybe he wants to be a short order cook uh -huh. they're all laughing guess he doesn't like small talk goff goff all the short jokes in one panel right all the short jokes in one panel <laughs> look at mitch he's losing it <laughs> look ba <laughs> he tells the big guy he's like this right they got this pissed little guy reaches up puts his fingers in the guy's nose hit the deck one of the big guys says he's gonna hit mike and they're laughing it's okay mike's got chin pads ha ha chin pads chin pads on <laughs> puts his fingers in his nose right never tried that personally put your fingers up somebody's nose to get their attention and pull them up. pull them around in a fight right oh look at this Mitch's girl is not pleased. Mitch's girl is not pleased. She's gotten up. She told him, no fighting. No fighting, right? Sorry, Muffin, no fighting, Mitch says. Right? Oh, look at that, look at that. Gotta do what the lady says. Muffin? Haha, <laughs> the big guy's laughing. There goes Mitch. Right, stink weed to the bathroom, men. 
Is that what they call them? Stinkweed? Or was it Mitch that called one of the big guys Stinkweed? So, what happens? Oh, the big guys are going, following him to the men's room. They're looking for trouble. Right? Yoo-hoo! Muffin! They call in, opening the door to the men's room. Right? There's a lobby. What's going on? Everyone's looking inside at the bathroom. And in the bathroom, you're hearing smuck smickety smick click thud slam smickin smickin prank thud puck pickety pecka mickety mecca mickety poke thud mouse the door opens up and let's check it out he <laughs> he hey you peach uh oh oh the date is not impressed everybody's looking in and all the big guys have been destroyed by the little dude right he's like pulling pulling that big guy by the hair dragging him on the ground right <laughs> funny funny great panel work by the way i really like this uh, little short story the way it played out right the way it played out okay and nice artwork beautiful line work right lots of facial expressions on people different types of people so a nice little uh, feel of this comic and there's more there's a lot more a lot of characters are introduced in this a superhero type of girl with powers and her lover which is nicely displayed, right? Very unfortunate that a lot of independent comics do not have the funding to be able to produce more, uh, more comics, right? Continue some of the stories. Uh, but I really like this. I'd like to get the second issue as well. And this is the assassin we saw at the, at the beginning. And fantastic world building, by the way. Fantastic world building. Okay. Icon Devil, number one. From 1987. Okay. By Spider Optics Comics from Penticton, British Columbia. let's see let's see what else should we be reading how's our time factor going on oh not bad not bad should we look at here let me show you this now i don't have any any specific page really picked out for this i guess maybe i do do i have a specific page picked out for this excellent detective story this is mainly my note regarding this whole comic really um, it just had a beautiful feel this is from idw okay uh, read only memories by grace kenny simone and neo photo testo okay the cover doesn't do it justice cover doesn't do it justice okay idw number one cover b and this came out in 2020 maybe did it come out in 2020 let's take a look when did it come out let's see if we can figure this out 19 uh december 2019 read only memories okay first printing uh, the main story i guess is valentine's day story cena grace art by stefano simon okay 
Mermaids Don't Cry, a story by Marv Kenny, Christina Antonia Nuff, photos, I can't even pronounce that. Okay. But I really like the feel of this comic. The coloring, uh, the dialogue. Like beautiful colors. I don't, I personally don't like the glare of the paper of the new comics. You don't, you get a lot of reflection going on. So it's not the best for reading, uh, these types of reading. Okay. Because you get a lot of natural light here. So we get a lot of reflections and stuff like this. And this is a girl that's got her own de detective company okay. like this panel a beautiful I think it's portrays the feel of the world if we can get it focused jeez ah oh, this feels much better right. she says takes off her high heel shoes and wears her walking shoes this is her own place she walks into should we read some of the dialogue from here highlighted here so maybe we'll read it from here okay. she's basically been hired on to track somebody down okay we'll just read a couple of pages focusing on this is very difficult I'm still not sure but as your investigator I can be impartial Consider me officially on the case. I can walk over to his apartment tonight. And what's happened here? Uh, the lady in the beginning is hiring her to do something, but what she encounters is this robot that is missing her lover, her partner. Okay it's a robot that wants that saw her that hires her to track down uh, is her love interest right and she doesn't usually track down uh, robots but because there's a certain amount of autonomy in this universe uh, but she takes on the case right i can walk over to his apartment tonight i'll also run some background checks and dig around for any behavior that's out of the ordinary thank you again for taking this on with taking this on such short notice you're lucky you have a manageable client load besides she says and this is her talking to the robot right. besides I'm still betting he's off to bring some AI third for your table uh -huh. nice place you got here John Ah, oh, these locks are child's play. With working class guys like John, I feel like the stuff I got from the NSFPD is like bringing a hacking bazooka to his security, to his security's night knife fight. 
So she's breaking into the robot's um, apartment, right? Tick, 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 tick. That's her little thing for breaking in. Elder God is mentioning that the shiny pages are hurting my eyes. Yeah, mine too. Uh, you have to read these in sort of a with the camera it's difficult uh, this one's not bad we'll read this page as well and then we'll leave it alone let's check it out see if we can get it to focus nothing so she's looking around the robots apartment no fingerprints beyond his own which makes sense when you're dating a robot his car still parked in the back I don't think let's check this out I don't think I need to scan the stains on this bed Ew. he didn't seem to take any clothes with him fridge looks like someone who was living a normal life not suicidal not planning to uh, to peace out for a long time no force no force entry no motives no enemies hmm i can scour this place some more but i know what i'll find right. nothing i've data mined every entrance exit purchase email text this man's uh, rhythm is so predictable it's like dating a washing machine I guess I guess I guess he loves consistency he he loves consistency oh these two may actually be legit sweethearts she thinks that's cute and it just continues from there the action is very sparse and very calculated and it's a lot of just panel work and sort of background world building i just enjoy that the sort of a calm feel to the to the comic if i get the opportunity i'll try to get my hands on this full story okay. and there's just a little bit of action here right she sort of poked in the wrong places she gets knocked a little bit right. and the last page for this this is a beautiful splash page by the way i really like this The shiny pages just doesn't want to focus stained shirt and a bloody nose in exchange for a solid clue not a bad deal especially when i was just looking to get my mind off what i thought was a hopeless case now i got to find what a harvest is last thing you want to do with someone who loves what they do is to tell them not to do what it is that they love to do right they were trying to push him off push her off of investigating any further this case and then it's got a backup story sort of pixelated artwork uh, quickie next issue Some poster pages cover by Stefano Simon cover a by Stefano Simon this one this is the cover that we have cover B 
retailer and incentive this ri here ri cover by uh kyle smart is a retailer incentive cover right it could be one in ten or one in fifteen naruto and just some additional stuff right v wars vampire wars read only memories so it was a fun read i enjoyed it okay. asylum asylum This one is not shiny pages. Good, good. Okay. This is sort of an anthology series. Asylum number one. I'm not sure how many issues there are in this series. Okay. Uh, a borderland book. A millennium publication independent comic book publishers right john bolton nick vence p craig russell al williams sort of a horror series neil gaiman was going to be has a story in asylum number two okay. i don't have the second issue i don't think i do anyway i might okay i picked up a whole bunch of these uh comics reader copies for uh, 25 cents a pop so there might be number two in there as well okay. we're gonna read there's one two three four five stories in this okay five stories in this we're just going to read the first one the wishing hour john bolton illustrator nick vince writer vicky williams letter okay asylum number one a place of safety refuge two a name for an institution for the mentally ill so asylum the first definition is a place of safety of refuge the second definition is a name for an institution for the mentally ill right now this is the first story by john bolton and vic nick vince vince okay The wishing hour and it's a horror story I think it's about five pages or so the artwork is absolutely beautiful the wishing hour I want to be a witch he says I've told you before Simon little boys can't be witches Sally's going to be a witch you'll be a jack-o-lantern there's this pumpkin head on the table don't want to be a jack-o-lantern want to be a warty crotchy crochetty crochetty evil smelling slimy old witch and eat toads he says if you if you said earlier you could have been a warlock or wizard the mother says the kids pouting don't want to be a warlock want to be a witch want to live in an, in a marsh ride a broomstick and have a black cat he says 
There's his jack and lantern head. Okay, come on, focus. Simon, dear, you're allergic to cats. Now you wait here till Big Ben calls for you and be nice to Sally. Mommy's just going upstairs to take a bath, she says. Wanna be a witch, wanna wanna set demons on people, especially teachers and parents and sisters and bullies, he says. He walks out the door. What's this? Looks like Sally's been tied up or something. kicks the pumpkin head have the demons tear their eyes out have them hung people hang people on meat hooks watch them make skipping ropes out of their gizzards I'm gonna pray to the devil he says Should my ears be burning? A demon shows up. Who are you? He asks. Put it this way. Don't waste your breath on praying. And yes, I can make you into a witch. At least until cock crow. The demon says. It only costs your mortal mortal soul, and one bull, and no bullies, oh, no one bullies a witch, or tells them to tidy their room, or keeps them after school, etc. etc. Okay, he says. What does his shirt say? Dead zone. Dead zone. Uh, what are you eating right want to be a witch right now your immortal soul uh, what are you eating your immortal soul he says Kodup. easily done right want to be a witch right now Simon dear you are a witch and he turns into a witch I've got titties he says right. I've got titties remember Simon you have only until cock crow the demon says yahoo off he goes on his broomstick right. let's look at a smile on his face if we can focus it goes and wreaks havoc in the closet on the stairs now be demons everywhere 
does a spell right let's give you the full page view right now there he is flying on his broomstick in front of the moon and he's done a spell and all the demons are coming out Now the bully, now the teacher. Whoop. Suffer from this dread encounter. Oh, look at that. The demons are killing the bully and the teacher. Now you'll scream, now your wing, Simon's taking his revenge, he says. Look at that. Dragging him out, the demons are. Mighty arms, mind legs. Enjoying the blood, the carnage, and the cock crows. And the spell is over. And Simon walks home. Mom, Dad. It wasn't me, I promise. And that's his parents and his sister. Hung on meat, meat hooks. Right? Let's see if we can focus on this. With their eyes poked out. The gizzards on the ground. little notes dear Simon when the gods seek to destroy us most completely they give us what we want your sincerely Lucifer and when I read this I had to go back to the beginning and the shock on his face it wasn't me he says but but it was him right because in the beginning he says he says what does he say right here in this panel when he puts on the pumpkin head he goes out want to be a witch want to set demons on people especially teachers and parents and sisters and bullies right so he was there for the teachers and bullies but the parents and sisters the demons also took care of when he wasn't looking be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, Lucifer wrote a little message. Nice story. Short, beautiful artwork. Nice. Uh, nice breaks in it and the artwork changes up between the different stories okay this one was actually pretty cool too should we read this one as well let's read this one as well this one was a fun uh, fun story so this is the second story one evening on a small planet right and this is uh, one evening on a small planet by Al Williams uh, illustrator Ed New Newsome, writer and the manual uh, graphics colorist. Okay, and Al Williams. 
Uh, I had a hard time figuring out when this came out actually. I think this was. I saw it on this thing here. Um, I can't remember when this was put out. What year? But I believe this is Al Williams from EC Comics. I could be wrong though. Right? So this is the third story. Oop. family father sitting down kids watching tv right bulletin 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 we interrupt your normally scheduled program for a special news bulletin the mysterious ufo that was sighted earlier today over south africa the syrian desert and uh, Stockholm Sweden is reported to have landed in the central United States we switch you to our news cameras on the scene in downtown st. Louis this is Jean Nelson reporting for NBS News st. Louis there's a spaceship. Not more than 20 minutes ago, the mysterious object appeared in the skies over St. Louis. Since then, it has been slowly descending towards the street below. Welcome Martians. There's a guy holding up a banner. Welcome Martians. The object has been tracked at speeds in excess of 2,000 miles and wait something seems to be happening to the side of the UFO well what do you think the alien says I don't know it's nice but right they're sort of hovering on top of the people taking a look around I don't know it's sort of nice but look what do you expect for 18,000 goblins it's a nice planet while I was looking for something a bit smaller you know a second summer home for vacations alien says it's perfect for vacations part of it's green all year round snow in the northern regions if you care for that sort of thing yes I like uh, the landscaping very much but if we decide to take it the alien says and there's people throwing stuff at them look at that Eww. their holograms just going through them but you do something about those nasty bipeds of course of course run a good extermination we'd have them cleared out in a few hours the alien says good good we'll have to talk about it we'll have to talk about it over with the first wife but I think you you have a customer I really do like the landscaping I'm delighted the guy says or the alien says God. I hope we'll be doing business soon mr. Elangst get in their spaceship and they fly away and the humans are totally clueless as to what's about to happen <laughs> planet Earth was sold and the aliens are coming back to get rid of the little pesty bipedals run a little extermination program All right fun little read edgar Allan poe just a short little poem by edgar Allan poe with some artwork and then this one's also not bad interesting as well but we won't take a look asylum number one not bad not bad 
What else we got? What else we got? Concrete. Let's read Dark or Dark Horse Presents. Crucial fiction fantagraphic books. Now, part of this is mature readers. I won't be able to read this. Um, there's one part which is really cool artwork, really nice artwork. But uh, let's read Concrete first. Or let's read Concrete and see where we're at. We might do this one as the last uh, read for now. Oh, do we even have time to read Concrete? We've got four, 15 minutes left let's see let's see you know what we're not gonna get a chance to read this i want to sort of savor this one it's the longer piece actually um so maybe we save this one for a future read and i'll keep on reading uh more comic books and pick little segments out because i'm really enjoying uh reading these things so let's just bring out uh pop up our chat again and uh, touch base with uh, with everyone. Fun, nice chill Monday morning. Slow stream, just for us comic book aficionados, people that want to chill. <laughs> right. Um, fun reads fun reads what have we read in the last two weeks i'll have to pick for some of the other readings we do i'll have to pick some uh, uh some comics from the big two as well i'll try to in my next batch of comics that i grab from my stack uh, i think i'll grab some uh, more mainstream comic books superhero comic books and whatnot and have a read through those because we've done a fair bit of independent reading for the last two streams right padre 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 how are you doing to our god watch the first half of dark man so far so good awesome i like the guy with the machine gun leg haha <laughs> dark man is fantastic it, it it's a great b sort of a superhero you know kind of a weird way uh, a movie uh, and we were talking about it just for those of you guys on the last stream if you don't know we we're talking about it uh in the film folder and our gilded page people were recommending movies and stuff like this and um i forget what the original movie that was recommended uh I've seen it a few times but i forget which one it was and then i mentioned dark man and some people had seen dark man some people hadn't uh, and i guess padre is uh having a look through it right now i was engaged engaged to a girl with a wooden leg had to break it off <laughs> he's cracking a joke super wacky i like the director yeah the director is super fun uh dark man didn't do well in the theaters and there's a dark man comic book series as well actually okay and there's dark man 2 and 3 as well they weren't as good as dark man 1 but uh, the comic book series i have the original mini series that came out i might have dark man number two the comic book series as well and the comic book was not bad either it was fun comic book i think it was just telling uh this retelling of the movie okay but gang movie recommendation if you like b movies from the 1980s uh 1980s early 1990s oh the other movie was remo williams remo williams is a fantastic movie as well and that's from 1980s as well fantastic movie super fun and dark man is on the same level okay aside from that gang let's call it a stream i'm gonna have a sip of tea we read one two three four five books last week excerpts from five books last week and we read one two three four five excerpts from or short stories from five uh comics this week not bad so we're averaging about five per reading aldegar remo unarmed and dangerous in uk yeah and 
fun movie i wish it had done both dark man and remo williams didn't do well in the theaters if they had done well we would have seen the franchise take off but they didn't do well unfortunately uh remo williams was super fun at the time it was it was just a straight up fun movie 80s fun movie lots of slapstick comedy one of the funniest scenes was when the master when the girl is talking a lot yeah rest in peace uh, fred ward he passed away like a few days ago uh no last month he passed away i believe and he was in uh, tremors as well but one of the funniest scenes in remo williams was when the master and fred ward remo williams were about to uh, go on and go into an encampment of the bad guys and the girl was there with them as well and she's like talking a lot and making a lot of noise and stuff like this and the master takes her wrist and grabs her wrist and goes listens listens and she goes what are you doing blah, 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 blah. and it goes bah, bah. <laughs> and the girl just goes oh sits down on the ground and Rumor Williams is like what'd you do he goes oh gate to keep woman quiet or something like this gave her a hundred orgasms so some I'm paraphrasing I haven't watched it for a while but he basically listened to her heartbeat and did some kind of offbeat type of dup -dup, uh, hit and she clap she sits down falls down on, on sits down on a piece of lo piece of rock because she had a lot of orgasms it was super funny so Fred Ward died on uh, passed away on May 22nd wow 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 elder god I watched Obi-Wan Kenobi the other night the lightsaber fight was hilarious like two kids in the garden <laughs> it's not very good it's better than Mandalorian and uh, the other one but it's not very good period it's it's Disney Disney doing uh, disservice to the franchise that they own Hong Kong J Morgs thank you very much for the follow <laughs> I love our new emote <laughs> I'm seeing it more <laughs> Padre yeah the master is a totally unrated character totally unrated character so good so good oh god Darth Vader is brutal though oh I haven't come to the Darth Vader scene we've only watched one episode of Obi-Wan so we haven't seen any more we got to watch more just to see what it's like uh, we'll probably watch a couple more just to get a feel for it right gang thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed this chill chill um, chill stream snaps a child's neck with the forest oh <laughs> see that's the Darth Vader we know I love right I was like WTF I gotta watch it which episode did that occur in out of God I hope it occurs in episode two I don't want to go too deep into it I don't think gang if you want to follow this work I'm a patreon I am a subscribe star I am on Substack. you can follow the work there for those of you that support this work on patreon as well as twitch thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing oh in the last one three episodes episode three okay so the last one that came out okay i'll check it out padre i hope there was a good neck snap sound effect i hope so too gang thank you very much for being here in these live streams and mods thank you for being here and taking care of business here and all gilded we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds we can get partly getter and bitcloud you can follow the work there and as well as other uh, social networks grow forest I've been lurking the past couple of streams every every strawberry every strawberry decided to ripen these past couple of days been on the berry picking grind thanks for the streams my pleasure grow Forest. you already got strawberries uh, ripening ours are just f just a little bit past the flowering stage looking forward to picking strawberries from our patio super good we do upload audio where we don't have any visuals to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform if they are not let me know i'll try to 
get them up on those platforms as well and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to Pichu, to rumble and to odyssey and again we do have a gilded page gilded server if you want to join the conversation share information padre thanks for the stream chicho peace guys peace padre and gang do not do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor to grow force thousands and a group of crows have learned uh from watching me so it's a race now oh no way crazy cheryl they're just starting to ripen in our area too wow 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 we're behind where i am it's been a cold spring so far so hopefully we get a nice long summer uh that we can enjoy uh, the patio and the greens for longer while ahead here they're well ahead there too wow we're way behind here gang i hope you have a nice enjoy your rest of the week and we'll do at least one stream hopefully two streams next week as well uh thanks for being here gang and i'll see you guys on gilded and on the rest of our platforms and next weekend bye everyone